Yo, Welcome what's back. up? Welcome back. What's up today? We are going to be talking about recession proofing your health and fitness. Obviously, right now, uh, <laughs> everything costs more money. And yeah. um, it can, if it's not done properly, I mean, obviously, this is a time where people look into their budgets and go, what do I have available and what can I cut? Oh, well, dude, I'm breaking personal records, whether it's. Oh, gas is to, ridiculous. To fill the tank. Yeah, grocery store. Oh. It's, it's, it's across the board, right? Got three kids at home, man, and they're eaters. Right. All three. Well, diet. <laughs> right. 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 Tell my so kid you could topic. fast. That's a good topic right now. Because, yeah, I think it's really affecting yeah, everybody. everybody. Yeah. Yeah. So there's there's just a ton of stuff, right? I mean, um, I guess it's it goes back to priorities. And, you know, for me, it's what's more important? What What in my budget can I cut that I don't have to cut the things that are going to keep me healthy? Um, the first thing that came to mind for me was eating out, right? Mm. And the average American spends $3,000 a year eating out. And I would probably guess that that's low. You're, you're probably right. I mean, um, when you look at the, the, I guess the restaurant association says that they, the restaurants build in about 300% margin into into their their was pricing that, was that average person or average household do you recall that was average person spends three thousand dollars eating right. out <laughs> right so um and again it goes back to priorities of like what's more important my gym membership my yes fit subscription my apple subscription whatever it might be right is those things that are going to keep me healthy and keep moving right so you have to make those things accountable um so the other one is grocery store shopping, right? The tendency is to go, let's go buy food that's going to have staying power, right? Things that don't go bad. And that's actually counterintuitive to your health, right? So you want to go, uh, you want to buy the perishables. You want to buy the things that are going to spoil. You just probably got to have a little more smart planning. Yeah, well, there's so much healthy food that you can get, even today, cheap. Well, you can go farmer's market, right? I mean, I can get two dozen eggs for, actually, I think it's two 18-packs, and it's like six bucks. Mm -hmm. There's multiple meals, and I'm a big believer that eggs, are they're like God's superfood, right? They, they have so much good about them. But even like snacking, you can, you can peanuts. So, you know, um, I buy, I think it's a two-pound bag. It's a two pound bag of pecans that I get from Sam's. Mm -hmm. And I think it's 13 bucks for the bag. And I smoke them. Right? And it's. <laughs> <laughs> Not that kind. <laughs> um, but it, it basically fills a one gallon Ziploc. And it's like my go to snack for the whole week for $13. Right. So there are healthy options. That, it's better than Hershey's Kisses and granola bars. Oh, yeah, right? I mean, or, or I'll take it one step further, and even the healthy crap like ketone bars and right. uh, it's nonsense. It's garbage. Um, tuna. Another. Tuna. Major high in protein. Clean. And it doesn't perish. Right. That's like one of my world's burning and is on fire and, you know, World War Three things. I got a whole bunch of tuna in my closet. You can keep it. <laughs> <laughs> but so there's what you did beef this weekend, right? You bought a beef and bowl. I, and you I freeze do it that. And yep. And um, it's uh, it's probably a splurge. I mean, I don't know that it's necessarily cost effective. But it's a lot cheaper than buying one or two steaks at a time. Mm -hmm. and, and I'll buy the whole thing, take it home, trim it up, slice it into steaks. And the last one I did, I think it was 125 bucks. boom, and I got 15 steaks out of wow. it. Wow. So it came out to, I don't know what that is, better eight, than, eight bucks a better steak. Better than you know the $55 at Outback for that. <laughs> right, right, right. I could have steak dinner with the whole family for about $30. Right. And that's hard yeah. to do with you, with, especially with your kids, man. Five of us, right. Um, 
So yeah, I mean, a lot of pre-planning can go into buying the foods and that can save you money. Um, also, looking at your subscriptions, obviously your gaming, your Netflix, meal kits. I mean, meal kits. I mean, the the meal delivery services, right? That, And I'm not just talking about Instacart. I'm talking about like the ones that send you the pre-prepped meal plans. I mean, when you have to look at your budget, I mean, that is one thing that you can look at and go, I just do it myself. One, I'm not going to say names because I don't want to throw any of our team members under the bus. But we have a team member, and she alternates. She's picked her two favorite. I don't know what they are. But she will sign up under their special get one month free, right? And then she'll cancel it. And she keeps all the recipe cards. Ah. And she eats on those recipe cards until she's kind of tired of that. And then she goes over to meal prep company B Does and it. signs up on there, get a free month. And she rotates back and forth, saves up all of these crazy recipe cards that tell her exactly what to buy and exactly what to do. Um, so, yeah. You probably know who I'm yeah, talking about. Yeah, I know about. who you're talking about. <laughs> um you know, I guess I guess the the moral of the story is, you know, this is the great reset, right? And this is a Ugh. great opportunity for you to look at your budget and go, I'm going to take out the things that aren't really healthy, right? I mean, the Netflix, if if it's if I'm going to sit around and do that stuff, go for a walk instead, right? Go for a run instead. Do body weight exercises. Um, you know, you can cut back on your newest and greatest wearable devices and tech. I mean, what's what's changed in the Apple Watch in four years? I will share one other thing with you. It's coincidental that you came to me with this because I've been thinking about switching up what I've been doing lately. Mm -hmm. And I found a sledgehammer workout routine, and I'm totally intrigued by it, right? It coincides with I had to bust up some stuff at home, and I got the old sledgehammer out, and it, I was gassed. It was wearing me out, right? But this is a like a whole routine. You don't need anything. You go in your backyard with a sledgehammer right. and get worn out, you know. So, yeah, creativity honesty you know really looking at like you said the things that you don't really need maybe you're right if you're going to take out the stuff if you're going to cut the budget cut the things that aren't healthy uh the last one i was going to say is fitness attire and mattresses like fitness attire like i want i'm talking specifically of sneakers don't i mean if you need a pair, a pair of good sneakers you go buy the pair of good sneakers you need a good mattress you go buy the good mattress right don't cut there you're talking about sleeping mattress, sleeping not mattress. like a workout mat. Right, that's yeah. correct. But that's it. That's it. That's it. We went that over pretty by, good by far, by a lot. But that's yeah. all right. Yep. So thank you for tuning in. Questions, comments, criticism, concern. You want Juan Machado's phone number? Autograph. You have to email us at snapcast at yes dot provocative photos. Yeah. <laughs> oh, does he have it? <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't look at him if I did. <laughs> so, um. Thank you for tuning in. Stay moving. See ya.